What is up, you beautiful people? Stone here, and today we're back in PAL World. And one of the reasons why I started recording is because I was deciding maybe uh, that thing that everybody talks about, about streamer or recording luck that I have, like, manifested before and is very nice when I'm trying to breed me some cows. But let me just show you all the stuff I've done in betwixt. I did get my perfect quiver. Still haven't given them a name. So if you guys want to name her... Maybe, should we just rename her princess again? I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think uh, a good name should be. And she's only level 2. I'm trying to bring her star rating up, which, which is why I'm trying to breed more quiverns right here. But, you might be like, what are you talking about? There's nothing there. It's because I freaking... That one's in a tree. You work in my butthole. Not really, though. <laughs> that just that sentence just sounds terrible. Um, <laughs> that's not how you breed. <laughs> um, just, just saying, I... And I, don't, I have no idea where the other one is. It was down there, but uh, not no more. So what I have been working on is Graham told me to put a campfire up there. That's what he does sometimes. So I decided I'd do that too, and it backlights it pretty well. I like the way it looks a lot, a lot. But the biggest accomplishment I've had besides getting that quivern is... Let's check out this space. I did a few things to this space over here. I unlocked that so they can walk around and do stuff, and I don't know why they're all down there when I told them to be in their cage. Is it because this is full? Holy hoppin' hell! Um, don't crash my game, please. That's a lot of eggs! And you wanna know why that's a lot of eggs? Because I bred some more perfect chickens, or the perfect chickens in the way that other people told me that might be good. So, apparently, for, um, so, so I thought I made the perfect cows. But, I did not make the perfect cows. I thought the perfect cows were like these ones, with Works Slave, Serious, Artisan, and Lucky. But, it does make them poop faster, but is it, I guess it doesn't change the interval at which they poop the, out the milk. So, you say like they, they drop one milk every, like, I don't know, 50 seconds or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. They, they poop eggs, or yeah, so chicken poops eggs every 50 seconds, but only one. And then it takes them two seconds to poop the egg. Apparently, everything that I was building into with these cows just made them poop faster. Like, when they pooped, they pooped faster. Not that they would poop faster. So, I got these chickens, and apparently, it's working real well. Because my chickens have all a bunch of stuff that just makes it so their sanity doesn't drop as much. We got Dainty Eater, 10% slower sanity. Uh, positive Thinker, uh, sanity drops 10% slower. Workaholic, sanity drops 15% slower. And then Diet Lover, uh, decrease in hunger is less likely to by a 15%. So, they don't need to eat as much and they don't need to go to the other place as much. I'm, just so we can see things a little bit better. Let me go take a nap. Oh, and then I can show you what happened. I, as I was building that spot out a little bit bigger because also in betwixt parts for some reason out of all my bases this one besides all the flyers everybody was stuck so i put them in the pc i brought them out of the pc i did some other things i moved some stuff around they were still stuck and i just had to reboot the game i just closed the game and opened it back up and everybody's fine so i did make this a little bit bigger though and then when i was building it out i realized that oh, i could put a staircase right here perfectly that almost goes into it seamlessly. And it's amazing. And I love it. I love it so much. So everything's connected. They actually had this closer now. I had it up there, but I guess they couldn't use it for whatever reason. So they are using this one. I do see them in there every once in a while. So things here are going great. We're getting tons of eggs. But I feel like we already had high amounts of eggs. So I'm trying to build a more milk. That way we can get more cakes, which means we can breed not faster, but... We won't get slowed down by the like this whole process because sometimes there was a little bit of a lag between how fast I had creatures breeding. Plus, if I have more materials, I can actually make another breeding farm potentially and maybe put one here or whatnot if I don't need so many rocks or maybe at the other base because I have like five. I have almost a whole small chest full of wood. It is ridiculous. Also, I thought I changed like one more thing. I moved my cooking spot. I don't know, I'll tell you when I do it, but yeah, we're just trying to breed a perfect cow right now. Oh, hell yeah, I'm just over here doing, like, hitting two birds with one me, and, uh, I found me a shiny gobfin. I don't know how hard this boy's gonna take down or to get, or words. Um, I've forgotten how to words for some reason, but this is cool. Yeah, I'm over here because I wanted to get pal fluid, but I also wanted to just catch gobfins so I could feed them to my 
Gobfin that I want to keep in my party just so he's uh he's better overall. A seven percent chance. Does that mean I can hit you with a grass tornado and you'll be fine? We are boosted. Whoa. You are not taking any damage, sir. Um stop it. Stop doing it. Stop doing it all. What's over there? Nothing. It's just a moth distracting me now. Freaking what should we okay? We're gonna after I hit you with this. I hit you with some liquid. I'm gonna then hit you with Liquid Larry. Liquid Larry, get out here. Let's do our thing. We gotta make sure we're paying attention, cause I don't know how strong Liquid Larry's gonna be. Right now, it looks like he's stuck in an animation. And is this our life? If this is our life, I am fine with it, because I am able to weaken it. Where are your pupils? Nothing is loaded in. Um, Liquid Larry? Are you gonna be all right? I don't know if he's okay, but like I said, this is still fine by me. Just don't get weird all of a sudden and kill him right when he's low. So let me do you one of these. I'll get rid of Liquid Larry. He was just there for emotional support, I guess. And... Oh, Lucky and Pearly Body. Dude, normally when I catch one of these, it has booty other passives. This is the first one that's absolutely awesome. Oh yeah, Positive Thinker and Dainty Eater. When we went out, I came back and we had three more eggs. So let me just check what all these are in case we got any special stuff. Don't need you to be an artisan because, like I said earlier, I guess work speed doesn't. From what I've been told and what I've uh, researched, it does not help with that kind of stuff. Oh, no. I also, I really wish we could get more PC space because I, I have a lot of things and I've kept them all and I've tried to be so, like, diligent and just a thorough with who I'm keeping and who I'm getting rid of. And I just I don't have enough space. Because I recently just sold everything I didn't need. A lot of these I don't need though. I can just feed them back in. Like all these quiverns I can feed into our, a lady here. But I don't really know what to do at the moment. I could just feed all the gobfins in and then I'd have more room. But I also need to... Make sure to get these guys out of there so they don't waste any more of my cakes. So I'm flying into the tier 3 or what I think is the tier 3 sanctuary. Because some beautiful person in the comments said that I should be able to get manuals here. Also, I'm about to run out of stamina. And I don't know if you've noticed, but our beautiful quiver in here is a much faster. Oh, and so, and it's big enough. It's not as big as the alphas one that I had for the longest time, but I can't really... Uh, tell that much difference with the the size but the speed especially when walking is so much quicker like zoom we zoom in so extra fast legend plus swift is so great so we're just looking for chesters in here is that is that a chester i see already hey bushy uh don't get mad at me can i open this without touching the ground i can boy i think if i touch the ground it'll It'll still give me the same warning anyway. I just gotta make sure I dip and dive out of here. How often do these ones spawn? I gotta check. The one... So in the... In the tundra area I was, I think, last part, the the chests I was checking, the ones on the circle aren't dungeon quality, but the one at that little shrine is. I got some good pendants there. I think... I've checked that. I've, got, I've opened it up four times since then, and the best thing I've gotten was this life pendant, and I think I got another technical manual... Uh, that gives plus three but this gave me compared to the other life pendant i have so from a plus zero to plus two gave me like 500 extra health that is sick and dude there's like three chests out here this is amazing uh oh my inventory full why do that because all this dumb skills i don't want skills oh i also don't want handgun schematics either i want technical stuff get technical with me game come on i dare you there's a cool little shadow beaker and not a Cobalion, but a Fanglope. Are there any more chests around here? How many spawn at a time in here? Let me know. Let me know all about that stuff. And also, if you guys are enjoying this part at any moment, please do go below the video and hit all the sellout stuff. The like, the comment, the subscribe, and even the bell. I would muchly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. It helps me out a lot. Even just liking it goes for miles. Just a little tip in case you guys were curious or wondering about this. Uh, there are random chests back on this section of the, the whole place. And I did get a legendary metal armor schematic. Armor schematic 4. 
I don't know how much better it's going to be than the original, or if it's even going to be better than the armor right now. But if it is, I would have muchly preferred that to be like a heat-resistant metal armor, because the last thing that I have on my list right now, as besides the, I think the three tower bosses we have left, is I still have to fight the Palladius and Necromus alpha bosses, uh, the the wild ones in the desert. It's a, that's going to be a wild ride. I failed against it multiple times. And now I'm just like, I'm souping up so much in order to do it. I think it's been like a week since I tried to fight them because I'm just trying to get everything a going. And when I get it going, oh, they're going to, oh, they're going to be sorry eventually. You're going to be crying. I'm going to be sitting on top of them. I'm going to mount them, but in the good way. And I'm going to start riding them around. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, our first one. Oh, let's go. That didn't take that long at all. This is, this is so great. Also, I got super lucky, and I didn't have to breed a bunch to get a male. I just, the first Diet Lover Workaholic Mozzarina I bred was a male, and then the first Positive Thinker slash Dainty Eater I got was a female, and then they bred their first perfect cow. Now I can feed a bunch of these other cows that aren't sufficient enough into this cow, and we'll have a super cow in no time. Oh, you're so wondrous, so wondrous and amazing. Can I name you? I should probably name these just so I don't accidentally feed them. I almost did that with my chickens a few times. What are we going to name you? I'm just going to... It's something about milk? What if we just name you... Is this even a name? Klim? Yeah, it's milk backwards. Klim. Great name. Great name. I also want to... Because I've been trying to figure out what else do I want to do while I'm just waiting for the cows right at this moment. And I have not discovered this whole hot place before. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do that because that's a significant amount of dark spot on the map. And maybe this over here and this over here and all of this and what's over up in there. I want to do because I haven't gotten into exploring a lot lately and I've been already doing I did a lot of building last time. I don't really feel like doing any more building at the moment. So yeah, we're going to harness our inner Dora today. Oh boy. Already? Oh, wait. Oh, I don't want to be in here. It's because for some reason, pals, with that can stand, stand on the floor no matter where they are on the map. So that sucks. That sucks a lot. Why is my health still going down? I have two heat resistant shirts on. Sir, this sucks. And I want that life monk statue in there. I want to collect them all even if I don't need them anymore because we might want or need them in DOS future. Is my health still going down? No, it's going up right now. I'll have to come back with an ice wyvern. and I just gotta remember life monk in volcano. But I want to get rid of all this ink on my map first. This place looks really nice. I'm surprised I haven't discovered this before. At first I thought it was the one Anubis statue that's over here. But it's just like a little pond with a cool island. You got a bushy that loves swimming. What's up with all the fire pals in this land? Not adhering to fire type rules. Is there anything particularly special on this island? Just a bunch of coal in a crashed game? Yeah, that's fun. Wait a second, I need to get around there. There's, is that... Is there a possibility I haven't discovered all the dungeons? Is there one over there? Or is there just a statue there for some reason? Um... No, it doesn't appear that there is a statue over there. Or not uh, a dungeon. There is statue. And statue has life monk, so we want to go check it out. And I could have just flown over, but like I said before, with bug, uh, it does not work out with quivering like that. Maybe I should have bred up somebody else that it doesn't count as a walker. Ooh, I wonder what kind of chest that counts as. I can come back here. Metal helm schematic one though is not very pleasing to me. So this is a jet dragon statue now that I know what it is. Uh, the only other place I th think they have one is at the Quivern dungeon for some reason. Why Why are you so special that you get two statues? I mean, it's sick. One of my favorite parts in the game is the, the random architecture because it's like storytelling without actually having to tell a story. It just gives you that the world of whimsy. I have not gotten raided since I've been breeding these cows. And somehow it got knocked out? Does it have a disease or something? Also, why do you have a minor injury? I don't know what's going on. I know the rest of the people have a sprain and an ulcer and they're over full because I did get in a fight earlier when I wasn't recording. I was just getting ready for today. But those... I don't get why you have a major injury. Hello, can you explain that? 
What is up with you? I just bred you today. You have not seen action. What is going on? I... I really don't know. I finally decided to build some other things in this base, too, to make it more efficient. I finally made another silo here. Or not another one, but the first one here. And I put a fountain right here. I want to zhuzh this up with some other things, potentially, later. And then I want to make a flower box, too, but I need to make cement for that. And things are things are looking great. But I'm also going to probably end things off here. Just keep it keep a little short and sweet. Just because uh, the these update videos are good and the exploring's good and the building's good and everything's great and I like it, but I just don't. I I want. I the next time I I'm in, it's gonna be we're gonna be ready to fight Palladius and uh, Necroma. So I don't know when that's gonna be, but that's the next time you're gonna see Power Worlds. So uh, and I I don't know when that's gonna happen, but yeah, feel feel free to write me any opinions you have on this game or things you think I'm doing wrong again. If you don't think what I'm breeding into these guys is good, because the the first time I did it was wrong, and there's still a lot I have yet to know about this game, and I just love that they're sitting in that thing. They still used this one a lot more than that one over there. I don't know what's up with it, but they's loving it. We're making bunches of quiverns, and then I'm, I need to make uh, some astagons. And one thing that was really cool about this process of breeding is the chikippies. I didn't know that you couldn't breed anything to make them, so I had to catch a bunch of those until I got the things I wanted to breed those together to make themselves. But uh, once I got the per my perfect chikippies now, with all the stuff they've got, um, the chikippies can make, or the chikippies can breed with certain things like reptiros to make the cows so they all feed them together and then hopefully one of the two feed into something else to make me a bees so i can get the bee bee production going on real tight oh man where are you getting capacitor and botanical barrier and i bred one just before this that had like vanguard and stronghold strategist it's like i don't you, neither one of you have those and those are some really good passives i mean i get over here why they might have it but because they're, they're supposed to. But right now I'm just breeding these guys for some extras. Because Frick trying to catch a whole bunch of these things. This is this way is a much faster. Okay. It's great. It's great. It's great. So yeah. We'll be back eventually. I'm not going to I'm not gonna not finish this game. That would be ridiculous with the amount of time I put into it. And I like this game. And I, I want to I wanna complete it all. And I want to catch all the things. And read their descriptions. And do the fun stuff. And then I also want to read... What is it? Where is it? There's the... Not the survival guide, but the journals. I'm still missing some journals. What? And how much of these... Does it read with stuff on here? Oh, it... Wait, Victor's Ashford's Diary 2? Is this the guy that owns the... The Shadowbeak fight? Or is the Shadowbeak fight? What the frick? Okay. How about we just end off today with a little bit of this story. I'm not going to read all of them, but we'll just start off with this first one. So, Castaway's Journal Day XX. This world harbors a secret. I was convinced of this when I began re-examining the globe's geographical features for my research towards the end of last year. Looking over the island islands of the world, I noticed something strange. It felt like a certain area was empty, so to speak. I knew there should have been some something there. It was unbelievable to me how no one could have noticed such an obvious absence in this location with a few months of preparation i was successfully able to guess the location of an island based on my hypothesis with a, a conviction in my heart i chartered a boat and set out for the island alone oh castaway i wonder who this castaway is and so is this region all like a bermuda's triangle kind of deal where just weird stuff happens or you just don't show it just doesn't show on any maps that is very interesting. I like that now. Okay, now now I'm interested. I want to read the rest of those stories. Maybe I'll make a part like that where I'm just reading all the stories. And it'll just be like, cool reading time with someone who can't read that well but does like a good story. So, <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed. I know I sure did. And if you get it, remember these three things. You're beautiful. I appreciate you and have a great one. Bye-bye.